In a pain clinic, we generally advocate a multimodal and multidisciplinary approach to get the best possible outcome. These patients can be offered multiple different modalities to get the best possible outcome. So we start off mainly with pharmacotherapy in form of various drugs as appropriate for the type of pain that the patient presents with. Besides this, we have also got a spectrum of interventions right from basic to the advanced interventions which can be offered to the patient as appropriate for their particular pain syndrome. So here we target the nerves or the plexuses which are responsible for causing this particular pain and uh, the interventions are done ideally under image guidance and nowadays we definitely prefer to offer interventions under image guidance in form of either fluoroscopic guidance or ultrasound guidance. This is to reach the target precisely with minimum side effects. Besides this, we also have various adjunct therapies in form of physical therapy, psychological therapy, occupational therapy and several other complementary therapies. Overall, we can achieve the best outcome if we combine more than one modality depending on an individual pain syndrome. So the most common interventions that we perform as pain specialists are directed towards the spinal pain such as low back pain in which we most commonly perform transforaminal epidural injections under fluoroscopic guidance or facet joint injections in form of medial branch diagnostic blocks or radiofrequency ablation. And these are all performed under local anesthesia and on daycare basis. So these patients can go home immediately within a couple of hours after these procedures. Besides this, we also have uh, several other advanced options as required. For the patients with failback surgery syndrome, we perform a procedure called epidural adhesiolysis because they are found to often have fibrosis and scarring around the nerves after having undergone spinal surgery. So epidural adhesiolysis is, an, is a useful intervention for this group of patients. If the patients fail to respond to the conservative line of management and they have severe refractory pain, we also have the option of advanced pain therapies in form of neurostimulation or intrathecal drug delivery system. Transferaminal epidural injections are found to be uh, quite useful and they have a good success rate with a good evidence in literature for their use in common clinical practice. Uh, the complications are very rare if it has been performed meticulously with uh, all the due precautions. However, there is a remote possibility of infection, uh, occasionally a hematoma or nerve injury and the patients have to be explained about this but these are extremely rare if performed by uh, an experienced operator with all due precautions. I am Dr. Preeti Doshi. I am the in charge of pain clinic at Jaslok Hospital and Research Center, Mumbai.